Hello, welcome to Mechnician. Today we're going to show you a demonstration using gel test 24.1 uh, working on a Bobcat T870 uh, skid steer. So uh, first you can see we're in the off-highway license where they cover you know everything from large to small and engines and whether it's air compressors or anything. Uh, here we're going to go to the compact equipment menu for Bobcat. Uh, you can see quite an extensive lineup of uh, brands here that are available on the compact side. However, we're going to go specifically here to the Bobcat and under the T870. So T-Series, 800. Now we're in the T800. First screen that's going to come up when we connect to the, the tractor, we're going to be able to see the systems that we're able to connect to, which is quite extensive here on the T800 series or T870 model here specifically. Uh, we could do and run a full system scan on everything all at once, see what's happening inside of it. Or we could, uh, you know, select this specific system to get it. We can also here on the main menu quickly see some of the special functions. These are not all of your system checks, but functions that you might want to do. You know, you know, you've got a uh, force of regen or injectors to code. Um, you know, you've got things right up front. You know, you got to do calibrate the hydrostatic pump or your raising and tilt uh, actuators. Uh, you know, you can get right to them quick and, and perform the functions. Left hand side, this is all of the technical information. So basically works just like uh, a library in a sense. So if I you know, click on say our engine, I could come in here and get all the uh, engine component information, wiring diagrams, you know, maintenance data. Here we gotta use the internet to connect to these spots here. Things like you know, troubleshooting by symptoms or you know, uh, timing belt setups and things like that. Uh, but let's go ahead and you know, let's connect to the engine here that we've got in front of us. So here's a diagnostic menu, gonna work the same whether we're connected to a T870 or a, a CAT mining truck, gonna look exactly the same uh, way. The only difference is we're gonna have some different menus depending on the system's cap specific capabilities, right? Or what gel test has been able to write. So here we've got, we can come in, read the faults on this engine. You can see a couple faults that have, have presented themselves. Let's go under this injector timing rail. First thing you can see is we've got the freeze frame, when it's happened, last occurred. Then we can get information on the components that have actually failed from the fault. So clicking here, we can get details on this injector, see its pinout. A lot of times we also have resistance values, voltages, locations, photos, all kinds of stuff. It's gonna depend on the specific component. Again, everything's produced by gel test, three major releases a year. You know, more common brands and components, you're gonna see all those things. Uh, at least here we can come in, see that fuel metering valve, uh, then also go straight to the wiring diagram and understand where it's located, how it connects up to the ECU. So there's our uh, metering valve. I can then come click uh, directly here. I see we pin up in port 77 and I've got the pinouts here for it. You can see where that's located, you know, and I can expand on this and see exactly where 77 is going to be. Test my wiring and that before I even really get going anywhere. So all at your fingertips. Nice thing about gel tests, like you're not having to go on Google or search or find things in other systems and jump in screen to screen. Uh, so here, let's uh, let's go back and, sorry, I accidentally double clicked. Uh, you've got the fault codes here. Then we've got system data. This is just your basic ECU, like, you know, when was the software created, things like that. Uh, monitoring, lots of different ways to work with data here in gel test. You know, we can both do Field test with a data recorder. So quickly come in here, select some measurements that we want to record while we're taking it for a test run or making some adjustments and just simply want to record our data. So here I can select, you know, a couple groups, pick a bunch of uh, measurements, you know, up to 24 for 90 minutes we can actually record. You know, then while the test is actually running, I can see some faults have triggered. You know, I can bring these up on my screen, could bring full dials. These measurements I picked on full dials, unfortunately. But uh, we can go stop the test, bring it back, and uh, be able to see what happened during the, the field test. So we had no faults, right? Bam, there's my faults. Whoops, sorry, right? Here's my faults. I'm able to see what's going on here when those faults occurred. These are the measurements. So whatever, you know, that engine has a lot of different uh, measurements on it. So whatever it is that you're trying to read, uh, rail pressures, whatever, it's, uh, it's pretty much all there. Uh, so then we've got things like actuating components, right? So you can, here we've got the glow plug we can actuate. 
I failed to mention here on the monitoring side that when you actually uh, got some system displays typically, so fuel systems after treatment systems are very common on the off highway side here we've got a fuel system layout check your pressures and that around the, the engine and the fuel system or i can also come in the live data like you saw right so we got 223 measurements on this engine uh, i can take any of these you know pick those and i can look at the you know the measurements while i'm making adjustments or i can also bring them up like a graph and graph them in real time Okay, actuating components, we mentioned just turning on and off the glow plug there. System check, so here if I wanna run a buzz test or cylinder cutout test or EGR valve test, fuel metering valve test, all the tests are basically run the same way. Three steps, we tell you what's gonna happen, right? So here we're gonna cut the fuel to selected cylinders independently, right? Some of the, some brands even have allowed this to happen automatically across all of them. Here on the Bobcat, it's done manually. Then we go to the initial instructions. So how are we actually gonna, um, what do you need to perform the test? Coolant temperature's gotta be um, you know, operating, so it's checking for that. As soon as you hit it, it's giving you the check mark. And then, yeah, here we can do it, automatic or manual. You know, I'll just pick manual for the sake of uh, demonstration. Pick a cylinder that I want to cut the fuel to, and then I'm running my cutout test. So I can basically go turn it off, turn it on, you know, I can I can graph it while I'm doing these, see what's going on with the my RPMs or whatever to be able to know how everything's functioning. And then when my test is done, you're gonna see it's gonna document everything for us, right? So it's gonna display the, the graphs and that on what we did during our tests. Okay. Uh, then we get into things like parameters, coding injectors. In this case, very manual. It's a matter of just typing in the numbers. Pretty simple. Uh, maintenance side, right? If we're going to run a sulfation recovery or, you know, a regen, basically. Uh, we can come in here. It's going to get really hot. 800 degrees or 1,500 almost Fahrenheit. Uh, and these are specific to the, the brand and model. These instructions, these aren't generic. You know, it's very different. Some models have different coolant temperature requirements. Some are you know, different times or service modes and things and gel test manages all that for you. All right. So here we've got the coolant temperature, uh, pedal position. Did we, did we meet those? Yeah, we're ready to go. Now it's actually going to uh, go and run the test, the regen for us. So it starts into the, the regeneration process. I've got a graph I can look at. I've got some data here. Um, you know, it's going to just basically do this automatically. And then when the test is done, it's telling us, hey, wait 10 seconds, turn it off, wait 10 seconds, gives us a nice little timer. And then we're able to see all of our results, right? So it's great to you know, have a document of this. And gel test does come with a free garage resource planner. So you can store your fleet in there. Uh, you can store all these documents up against it. If you have multiple mechanics, share them across your mechanics in the cloud. It can get way more advanced than that even if you have a really large fleet, you can even analyze your failures at the brand or at the system level. All right, so now uh, the maintenance, calibration. So if you've got to calibrate high pressure pumps or injector resets, all these gonna function much like the last two tests you saw. Here's the instructions, and it's gonna run you through and do the specific tests. And then the data recorder, all right? So last piece that's left really is, uh, you know, if we jump out, obviously we've got all these other systems. so. Everything from calibrating the, uh, you saw some of the special functions, your actuators and that, depending on which um, joysticks you have, whether it's, uh, um, oops, there we are. You're calibrating your hydrostatic pumps, um, you know, EGR actuators, intake throttles, fuel meters, uh, calibrated raising and tilting cylinders. Just depends on the systems and which unit you specifically have. As mentioned, the GRP is up here. You can go in and actually store and save everything because everything we've done has been documented. So let's go and just exit and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so here you can see, we could go and put our customer info in or our own fleet info. It would already be present if we already had uh, stored our fleet or uploaded it. All right, so here's the document. It's documented all the faults, the system data we presented system displays, measurements that we saw, 
We did a cylinder cutout test. There's the results of it. You know, then we went into and ran a regen. There's the results of that. Everything's kept for you. If you are a service technician, you could use this as a work order, document, uh, get a signature. And that's it. So if you have any more questions on uh, JAL test or would like to see more about the T870s, other systems, uh, give us a call here at Mechnician or visit us at www.mechnician.com. Thank you very much.